Okay, we're here at the NSRA's 53rd Nationals here at the Exposition Centre in Kentucky and I'm with Carl and Mary and beautiful 32 Roadster right behind me. Okay, Tom, let's talk through it. What have we got? Okay. So what's the engine there? So that's a 502 big block. Yeah. Um, basically right from GM Performance. So nothing was really done to it. Nice. And how long have did you say you've had it for? We've had the car for about three years. Three years. Yep. And why the 32 Ford? Um, we were in the Camaros and muscle cars. Mm -hmm. We still are, but we wanted to go just something different. It's definitely so different. If you would have told me I would have had a 32 Ford five years ago, I would have told you you were a liar. <laughs> so, uh, and but the, the whole thing of it is too, we, we know the, the history of this car. Okay. Um, we knew you know the one of the original owners for it. And so when the opportunity came, we had to buy it. So who was the one of the original owners? Was it a family friend? Or? No, it was a friend. A family friend, yeah. Yeah, family yeah. friend, yeah. Yep. We wow. call him the Rod Father. <laughs> the Rod Father. I swear to you. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so he, uh, Dave's probably had, um, I bet you, hundreds of, of street rods. Wow. And he usually buys them. He calls it, do a haircut and shave, and then he sells them. So he makes his money that doing that way. So. Um, but it was super so that's nice why car. you knew where it was coming from. Yeah, so we knew, knew the car reliable, had really and... good bones in it. Like yeah. I said, he was, you know, uh, super excited that we were buying the car. Um, kind of keeping it in our, our friend family there, yeah. you know. Yeah. Shout out to Papa Dave. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I lo I'm loving the wheels. Yeah, so those are, old, those are old, uh, basically they're, they're a Buick uh, brake setup. But okay. underneath them covers are Willwood disc brakes. Right. So that's not actual them. That's not the actual the brakes. But yeah. back in the day, um, when they built these things, they would put a a, a few of brake kit on it. Yeah. But on this one here, it, it has disc brakes on the front. Wow, interesting. So what did you have you done anything to it since you got it? Uh, we redid the headers on it. We put new tires and wheels on it, um, kind of just to make it our own. Yeah. There's really not a lot you can do to these. That's very um, true. People do too much to them and they ruin them. Yeah. This looks very shaped. It looks very sleek, just the way it is. Because I mean, you add small touch of something and it could take away from the look. Oh, 100%, yeah. yeah. And how is the drive compared to the Camaros that you've been used to? Um, it's a little bit different. Okay, what's um, different? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you know when you're doing 55 in this thing. You know, when in the old cars, or, you know, the Camaros and the trucks that we own. Because their, their bodies are a lot more bigger. They are. So this body yeah. is smaller, you're going to feel the Very engine, rigid, the, very the rigid ride in here. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Mary is usually sweating. <laughs> when we're driving this thing down the road, she's the pothole watcher. Because, I mean, you can see oh, through yeah. but with the small windshield, you can't see everything like in, in a traditional car. So I can just imagine a sitting oh, pothole, pothole yes, coming yes, up. That's exactly what she does. Tom! No. Uh, and how fast have you had it, though? I've had it up to 80 miles an hour. And I mean, it's... Uh, and you would feel oh, it. And it's go. not your normal 80 miles an hour. In this, no, in this you shine. know you're doing 80. You know, yeah. Yeah. Like you do an 80 in your new pickup truck, you don't even know it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Can I see the rumble seat? Oh, uh, there's no rumble seat, it's a trunk. Oh, it's a trunk, this yep. one, okay. It's messy in here. How is that messy? You must be a very clean no, it's person, Tom. That is not messy at all, trust me. <laughs> well, it looks amazing, it looks absolutely great, and you guys like the hot rods, and yep. what's what's next on the agenda? You're going to enjoy this for a few more years? Um, actually, I'm building Mary one um, as we speak. So that'll be out next summer, and then... Um, we have a couple old pickup trucks that we're working on also, so oh, nice. we stay very busy. Oh, I bet you so. do. Mary, yeah. what are you getting made? I'm a 32 coupe. Yeah, so old school, total old school. I absolutely so. love it. That's you great. gotta guess how many louvers. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just gonna do a, a two, four, six, 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 I don't know. <laughs> Remember, there's some in the hood. <laughs> oh, okay, I have no idea. What is it? 294. 294? Yeah. Yeah. And you have to clean in between each one of them when you clean the car. Oh, you really would, wouldn't you? Well, you know what? You have some music on in the background. Yeah. And then the passion is there taking over. Adrenaline kicks in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it looks spotless. And you guys drove this here? No, no. we trailer. Yeah, we had a nine hour drive, so. Oh, of course yeah. not. It would have been a heck of a ride, though, if you did that. <laughs> Everybody would have loved it on the interstate. We will take and do that next year with Mary's car. Oh no, no we're not. <laughs> yes, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> and how much work is there involved for your car? Like you bought it, just building we it from the ground up? We completely built it from the ground up. Yeah. You completely built it? Yep. Yeah. Wow. So now we are in the upholstery. Somebody is in front. 
from Florida yeah. doing the upholstery for us. And he's been there about 12 weeks and he should be done by the time we get home. I so. love that you were so involved and you, it's your hobby oh, as well. Yeah, I yeah. absolutely love that. Yeah, it's fun. And it's, that's you, our thing, so. So do you do this for work as well? No, no. I own a construction company. This is my stress relief. So when I come home, have dinner, and then it's mom lets me go out in the garage, and uh, I go out there and work on my tires. <laughs> this is amazing. Like, this is your stress relief, you know? Like, this would pay thousands and thousands of dollars to take it to a place to get yeah. something done. Yeah. And you can just go in and um, have fun and do it yourself. You know, I kind of think about it, though, is um, somebody can do something, right? So there's yeah. no reason you can't do it. That's a very, you know, yeah. But that's believe a good me, it, it costs money to go to school. We spend a lot of money for, for, for mistakes. But yeah. then you learn it and you don't do it the next time. That's you know it. I mean? so. That's it. That's it. Trial and error, isn't it? Yep. That's what life's all about. Oh, well, you guys are having a fabulous time. And I've had such a nice pleasure of meeting both of you and your beautiful 32 Ford. I appreciate it. Thank, yeah, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. start with some basics what have you got I've got a 1969 Camaro it's got a big block 498 motor in it it's got turbo 400 trans it's got uh, it's got everything strange rear end it's got a lot of good stuff in it. why is it strange no it's called a strange fab 9 inch the rear end okay please that, tell me a, about that. that that's it the strange is just a company that they, okay if you, if you shine under the car you'll be able to see it Okay, you see? Oh, yeah. It's a fab 9 inch. Wow, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And how did you come across this? I created this monster. I created this monster. I bought it about five years ago as a roller, and then uh, we went ahead and created what you're looking at now. And Giovanni, you didn't want to come on my channel. I did not. And now he's know, telling me that he's actually created this. Oh, my goodness. You're doing absolutely fine. The tire, the tire, sir. 33 so five years ago you got this and it took you yes. five years for the complete restoration? It was, about, it was about two and a half years to get a completion done on it because I had it done one time yeah. and then during the COVID oh, yes. we were sitting at home and yeah. I went to the World of Wheels and I said well you know what I think I see what we need to do and yeah. we just tore the whole car apart and we did the whole thing. You'd be surprised about so many cars and the restoration process has got a bit of a speed and a kickoff during COVID. Yeah, oh definitely. <laughs> and a lot of us sat there and yep. brought a bunch of new cars out, you know. That's amazing. That, right? And it's good because it was one of the best things you could have done. What did it look like before this? It, it was it was, it was, was this color, yep. but n not this color. Okay. It, it was the right shade, but we created, the, my painter and the builder, uh, Quinn's Custom Colors. Okay. He, he, he did this whole paint job. He did the idea with the car. Him and I sat down and figured it all out. And Beautiful. Created what I want. You know what I mean? I told him what I wanted, and he made what I wanted, you know? So tell me, what have you put custom that wouldn't, wouldn't have been there in 69? Everything you see. The Everything. only thing original. Because I'm thinking this here. This is this is a trunk. This yep. is my trunk. I got a fuel cell in here. I got my junk in here. I keep also okay. you know, I keep my cleaning stuff in there. Yeah. But that's the fuel cell. But there's nothing original in this car but the review mirror. Wow. So the dash here as well. The dashboard, all of it's all complete custom. All the door panels, the kick panels, the, the back panels, everything in this car. Beautiful. Beautiful. And what have we got here in the back? Yeah. Ah, how, how fast That's is this going? That's a panic button. It's a panic button. <laughs> You've got some things going on here. That's a panic button. That, you, you, the nitrous, you mean? Yes. Yes, ma'am. That's it's about 300 to 500 horse on nitrous alone. Nitrous alone. And then I alone. got 650 on the motor, so we can push out to a thousand. Almost a thousand. <laughs> I love that. I absolutely love that. And you've done an amazing job on the inside. Thank you very much. I'm loving the camel. I'm, can I call it camel or bay? Well, we call it a peanut butter. A it's peanut kind of a peanut butter, you know? Yes. Pe oh, why didn't I think of that? Peanut butter. Sure. Now show me the engine. You got it. Very comfy seats. Yep, that's the Chicago skyline. Yeah. And they call me the hitman. The hitman. 
Well, I better stay on your good side, sir. <laughs> I'm retired, so don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, this is magnificent. Look at this. This is a 498, like I said, and uh, it's got 1100 Dominator Carver on it. It's got a fogger system on it, which is the nitrous. All these lines here, that's all the nitrous lines. Okay. So how would, I mean, someone who's learning, how would you use the nitrous? Do you use it at the same time as you're pressing the gas and then you press a button and it on, fills it up? Or? You want to zoom in right here. On this car, we have a micro micro switch right here. See? Oh, right. So when the car is all the way down to the floor, floored, completely floored, yeah. it will turn on. On its own? On its own, if you have the switch on. If you have the switch on. Yes. And this is where you have to switch it on, or is there no, a button no, no, on the inside? No, no, I got switch inside. There's okay. switch inside, I activate everything, so then if I want to use it, yeah. and it goes to the floor, it will give it to me. Wow. So how loud does, I know we're indoors and we can't turn this on, unfortunately, but how loud would it be? Well, you know what, I have a three inch exhaust all the way out the back. So it's a gentleman's quiet, but when you get into it, it's kind of ignorant. You can feel it. Yeah, you yeah, can, you can hear it, it and sure. feel it. Oh yeah, it will, it'll just smolder the back tires. It won't. Wow, and you've got custom speakers, I noticed. On what? Custom speakers, you've got a sound custom system there. Custom speakers, yeah. These rims are all custom built for this car. Billet Specialty made these rims. There's no other rims? Well, there's no other it's a car with these rim for this car. They're, they Beautiful. make similar rims, but this was a special order for this car. Beautiful. And did you design that? Did you tell them no, what you wanted? No, they designed it. I they just went in there and chose them, and yeah. you know, and they had a rim similar to it. But yeah. I wanted mine completely polished, inside, outside, and nice. all the above. So they they made this set. I think it took them about six weeks to make. This Beautiful. Set. And the wheels. Now, I'm loving the back wheels here. What's yep. the size here? The tire size is a 22 wide, 33 tall, and the rim's a 15 by 20. Beautiful. Baby got back, right? That's right, baby definitely <laughs> got back. Look at that. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. The, the color is a custom color again. Yeah. Uh, Why the 69 Camaro? You know, I had a 69 Corvette back in the day that I did like this car. And okay. I got rid of it and I tried to find that car at one time again to buy it and redo yeah. it, you know, and couldn't do it. And then I've always loved the 60. I think 69 is the best year for all the hot rods, actually, in my opinion. I like the Dodge 69 as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I mean. I think that 69 yeah. was just all that year they came out with that different It was car. the body shapes as well. That yeah. Was, yeah. Now, I don't know if you noticed the hockey stick on here. Have you seen the hockey stick? Look here, it was. Right here, look. Hold on. You see this? It's got the engine size down in here, and then it runs all the way back. Oh, it does too. It's ghosted in. It's a hockey stick, it's called. Oh, wow. That's very different. That's very, uh, very, 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 Once you see it, you can't not see it. Yes, yeah, so that's, that, that's it, exactly. That is a very delicate detail that really adds, because especially now standing at this light, you can see it's beautiful wow very nice you've got other cars as well no this is the only one like i said and this is a custom color we made you know yep. and you know we uh, have the one and we, really have a, do we, have it a, well. we have a name for it but i don't know if you want to hear the name <laughs> what's the name it's called penny dropper purple any drop of purple. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It will do well. Thank you. That's all I can say because it is absolutely beautiful. It's Thank definitely you very sexy much. if I, I can say that. I appreciate the time that so, you spent No, nah, it's beautiful. Bring her back to Australia. Sell her. Sell her there. She's she's good to go. Yeah, well you know what? Back home it would be gone like that. But then we wouldn't be able to drive it. No, we wouldn't, but you can no. drive it. No, I won't. I'll Someday. get pulled over. They don't let you. Too much red tape. Oh, I do it too. Too much I, red tape. No, they, they don't pull you over in this thing. They no, like it. no they it's not in it America. <laughs> they definitely let it go. Oh, well, I appreciate that, Giovanni. Thank well, you so much. Thank you for your time, and I appreciate you coming here. Thank you.
check out a 57 Bel Air and this one is absolutely striking. I'm here with Homer. How are you today, sir? Doing great. Come over and tell us all about this beautiful car that you've restored everything yourself except for the paint. Well, it's a 57 Chevy 2, 210 Bel Air. Uh, I built the car except for the paint job. I had it painted. Uh, it's 350 Chevrolet, 350 Turbo. Vintage air, four wheel disc brakes, power steering, car. And why this uh, 57 Chevy? The very first car I owned <laughs> in my life was a 57 Chevy, but trust me, I only give $150 for it. <laughs> $150? Yeah, oh. didn't have an engine in it, but I had a motor that I had built living at home. Yeah. And so and, I, and, I and bought the body and built them. That was my very first car. I was uh, working at a fielding station after school. Okay. Uh, What's a fielding station? A uh, gas station. Okay. Back when the full service filling yep, station. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep. You were filling up the gases. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Public gas cleaning windshields. Nice. So, uh, so how did you know how to build a motor back then? I just, I've always done everything by hand. You know, my dad. Don't you love that? My, my dad said, work with your mind, not your hands. And I went to college for three years yep. and I quit. That wasn't what I wanted to do. I love working with my hands. So, so uh, you know, I've owned garage businesses, multiple employees. Yep. That's just what I do. Okay, Bill, good to see you. Uh, well, I, I, love I, it. I think I think you you chose the best of the two. <laughs> well, I can always appreciate somebody who's working uh, with their hands. I don't regret my decision at all. I bet I'm you do. Happy, uh, satisfied. Uh, quick note: my wife told me one time after we've been married ten or fifteen years, she said, uh, "I don't know when I married you if I knew you had such a love affair with automobiles." <laughs> and I said, "Well, thank God it's not women." <laughs> So. She can't complain, and, yeah. she, and she gets to ride in such beautiful classics. She really cannot complain. Now, coming to the restoration here, how bad was it when you first got it? Uh, <laughs> it's like all old cars. Yep. It needed a lot of tender, loving care. Okay. Uh, just you know, work on the body for two or three years, mm -hmm. a little bit of time getting it all. You know. And what was the most difficult part? the visual picture of the end product right because i'm a fanatic that it has to look like it belongs there yep and it meets it i mean i've had two different three different sets of wheels on it before i found what i really right. wanted the, the, how the car sets the yep. stance yep. yep how it sounds how yep. it drives okay uh, okay you're a perfectionist and when you want something, you need to look exactly the way you want it. That's you are not going accurate. to settle just because you've spent your time on it. No. 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 If I have set it aside for a while to come back to it, it's got to be the vision that I see. For it. Yep. It may not appeal to anybody else, but it's going to be my way. Well, <laughs> it doesn't need to appeal to anybody else because you're the one driving it. Why do we have a bottle here? Oh, that's... That is an original item in a 57 Chevy. It's your windshield washer bottle. That's how it was like. Yeah. Isn't that neat? Look at that. And actually, uh, the original 57s had uh, vacuum control wipers. Yeah, I knew that one. Yeah. And uh, of course, I've replaced it with an electric wiper. Yes. But, uh, I could never understand how it would have been possible. And I've seen the cars a few times where they mentioned that it was vacuum. Yeah, vacuum. Yeah. And only when you press the gas, yeah. then it would work. Yeah. So if you were going slow or, you know, or there was traffic in front of you, then it was of no use. What about the interiors? Well, it's a... Uh... They look beautiful. Like I said, the, the red piping is ostrich leather. Ostrich leather, yeah. The rest of it's just super suede, uh, soft, naga hide leather. Uh, and you did the interiors yourself as well? Yes. Beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Two ten ballet. Yep. Oh, that's awesome. Well, thank you, Homer. I appreciate you showing me okay. your well, thank you. car. Keep well your done. Car. I'll, I'll look. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm here with Adrian and his beautiful Billy. What have we got here, Adrian? It's a 1964 Buick Skylark. Yeah. Wonderful. 
And did you restore it yourself? I did most of it, yeah. Nice. It was restored back to original and now I've made it into a resto mod. Okay. So when you got it, it was already restored to some extent? It was restored to all original. All original. What did you change? Uh, it's got a uh, Chevy 350 blueprint engine. Uh, 204R four-speed automatic transmission, positive traction rear end, air conditioning, uh, pro car seats. Beautiful. Redid all the dash. You brought it into the modern day. Yeah. Yeah, and this is your driver. Oh yeah. That's beautiful. Everywhere it goes, it gets you driven. Unless it breaks and it goes on the train. <laughs> That's only happened once. And um, this is a convertible? Yeah. Beautiful. Mechanical or? No, it's power. Well done. Yeah. Well done, sir. Very nice. Thank you. Would it have been power original as well? Yes, or it, was, it was originally power top. Okay. That would have been a big thing. Yeah. 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 I, lo I love the body shape here. That's the original color. That's the original color. It was originally this color exterior and white interior. And I put different white seats in it, but... Mm -hmm. What would you call the color? It's called Coral Mist. Coral Mist. Coral. Oh, Coral Mist. Yeah, yeah. okay. That makes more sense. Yeah, Coral Mist. Beautiful. Thank you. You enjoying yourself? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I tell everybody that I've come here and I've brought the sunshine because it's been raining <laughs> right. for the last so many yes, days. Yes, this is way better than yesterday. Yep, they predicted rain for today as well. Yeah, I know, but, but later this afternoon. I was coming, my camera was coming, so it could not rain. <laughs> yeah, we've got the tent, we could stay under here. That's beautiful. Well, you've definitely got a good spot. Yeah, we do. Thank you, Adrian. Thank you. Okay, so I'm here with Mark and I had to stop at this tea bucket. 23 or 22? 21. 21. Doesn't look like a tea bucket anymore, that's for sure. Okay, Mark, so tell us, what's going on here? It's basically, we were looking for a street rod and play toy and I found this on Facebook for sale. Yep. And I ended up discussing it with my wife and purchasing it. It's been a great little toy. Uh, it had wire wheels on the front. We've replaced those with the Billet Specialties Comp 5, <laughs> Chevrolet disc brake conversions. Uh, I've added LED lights. Redone part of the interior, built a console for it. She's got a Chevrolet ZZ4 350 crate engine, 350 Beautiful. turbo hydromatic. Come over here to the wheel, the wheels here. What's this? Just Those are... Those are Hoosier Pro Street 33 by 21.515s sitting on some street light uh, Phillips Specialty wheels, 15 by 15. Wow. And we've got matching wheels up front, which are the comp fives. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure what else would you like well, to know. Uh, did you do the paint yourself? I did not. I bought it this way and you I love the one. 90s theme on it. Now, yeah. she will be getting repainted here in the next couple of years. Okay. She's going to the newer Chevrolet Green. It's called Synergy Green. That would look nice. And I want to get some skulls and things airbrushed yeah. down low around it and on the firewall. You're going to redo the crime up here as well? I probably am. I think you will. Once you get that paint on, you want to just make the chrome pop out as much as possible. Probably have them ceramic coated so they don't blue again. The chrome has a tendency to blue once you run the headers a little while. Okay. So that's but, what happens with chrome. I didn't know that. Yeah, and a ceramic coating doesn't stay real bright. Right. But it doesn't blue. And it yeah. can be polished back up to about this sheen. Right. 
And how powerful is this engine? She's a uh, 400 horsepower. That is a lot for this tiny body. Yeah, she weighs 1,200 pounds. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, really? and, and, and you like the rat face? I love the rat face. And the rat face. And his wife, Trixie, over here. <laughs> Absolutely love it. You know what? You look like you're having an absolute fabulous time with this. Good for you. But yeah, it's going to look absolutely amazing once you redo it as well. I do like the pink striping though, so. Yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you, Mark. You're welcome. Okay, Ari, I love loving it, absolutely oh, loving oh. your 51 Ford here. And you said you bought it at the show here seven years ago. I did, seven years ago. They started doing my own twist and put my own touches on it. Going through it, making it the way I want it. That's amazing. And still working on it. You're still working on it. Now, yeah. I just want to point out that there's a lot of people who do put cars up for sale at these car shows. Uh -huh. It works. It really does work and things do get sold. I've met a few people who bought their cars from the car shows and they bring the same car back. Yes. Have you run into the owner? I have. Yeah. Have. Yes. And, and car shows and he's like, wow, this yeah. looks great. He's like, is that the same truck? And I'm like, yeah, that's the same truck. Wow, okay. Well, in that case, please tell us what have you done to it? Uh, I've redone some drivetrain work, mm -hmm. transmission, motor, some rear end work. Yeah. Uh, Reupholstered the inside. Uh, done some touches on the outside with just cosmetic things like that. Put the electric lid on the back to kind of secure. Very nice. Got lights underneath of it, so when we're hotels or someplace you need to get in, it's got lights oh, underneath. Oh, look at that! that Isn't that up. neat? Wow. That's amazing. And very, very convenient. Yes. Very convenient. With the pickup truck, you don't have a whole lot of room, so yep. that way you can kind of put things in and secure it a little bit. So you've done all this yourself. What about the interiors? Did you? Uh, yeah, we just had the seats reupholstered. They came out of a uh, Ford Bronco. A Ford Bronco, okay. The seats, nice. They're bucket seats. Just yep. had them recovered and mortared the headrest. And you like your car shows? Different car shows, yes ma'am. Oh, I can tell, loving the dash, absolutely loving it. Now, did you change the engine you said? No, I haven't, not yet. We're gonna do some work on it. But... Okay, what is it again? It's a 5.0 Mustang motor. Mustang motor, and what yes. are you gonna do to it? I'll uh, probably freshen it up, take it out, freshen it up a little bit. Oh, well, you have to explain to someone like uh, me, what does that mean when you say gonna freshen it up? Rebuild it. Okay. Uh, Maybe put a different cam in it where it has, uh, it's getting tired. Okay. So just time to freshen it up a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Time to make it a bit more powerful, a bit more louder. And yeah, yeah. Yeah. Something to turn heads. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's it. I get it. And why the 51 Ford? Uh, I'm a Ford guy from when I was a young man. Yep. And uh, we came over here seven years ago. And it was actually one of the first trucks I seen. And we walked around for five hours. And I knew, I, I didn't know what, for sure what I was going to get, but I was leaning towards a Ford. And uh, our old fleet at the house is Ford, so that's okay. kind of why we stuck with it. And I'm guessing, you know, obviously you're a Ford guy, you're going to get a lot of... I love it. Yep. <laughs> you're going to get a big pat on the back for keeping a Ford engine. Today. Ford and Ford. I get Ford a lot of Ford. people have won a few trophies just for that. Yeah, just for that. Because I know it's a big thing out there. You know, you don't put a Ford engine with a Chevy, a Chevy engine in a Ford. Exactly so right. you've got a Ford in a Ford, and that's why you get awards for that. It gets noticed, sure. and it looks brilliant. I love the color. Are you going to repaint it as well? Uh, down the road, maybe. But right okay. now, I drive it to a grocery store and go get haircuts. And it's a driver. I take it out. It's got a few dings in here and there, but we drive it. And we have fun with it. I love the orange car. Yes, I do. Yes. That's why those guys over there they said you always get pulled into the orange car because you like them. Yes. Yeah, I love the bright colors, but yep. I appreciate that and you enjoy yourself and hopefully I can see you at another show and then you can show me the changes you've done. Sounds good, thank you. Thank you, Ari. Cheers. Appreciate you.
on it. I'm loving it. 55 to 10. Now you said you've restored this yourself with your friends. Right. And why the 55? Well, this is the fifth one that I've had. Okay. It's the first one. It's not a hot dog. It's a, it's a driver. You know. It's the fifth 55 that you've had? Uh-huh. I've had five. Okay, you like your 55? Yeah. Why? The first car I ever had. You know, I, just, I like the body lines on it. Yeah, well, it's absolutely beautiful, and it's been restored back to original. No, no, it's not original. It's, it's what they call a, a modern car. Okay. Because you said it's your driver. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah so I live you... in Lancaster, South Carolina. It's about 500, 500 something. And in order for it to be a driver, you have to change the disc brake and the transmission. Yeah, it's, it's got yeah. disc brakes and, and it's got a later model engine and transmission. Yeah. And what about the interiors? Look at these brake pedals, Chevrolet. And your son made these himself, he custom made them. Wow. That's beautiful. And what color is that? It's a green and a lime green. What would you call it's, 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 it? Well, I call it a two tone green. They're pearl metallic. Pearl metallic. That's beautiful. Now, with the 55s, where did you fill up? Do what? Oh, yeah. Right. Okay, but originally that wasn't there. That is original. That is original. So, which of the Tri Fives was in the um, lights? The 56. The 56. And, and I think the 57 was also. Okay, okay. So, the 55s was there. They're trying to get funky. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the, the 55, of course, you know, I feel like the 55. I like them better than yep. the other ones, but I like all of them. Yeah. You know, I've met a few other people from Kentucky. Very, very, very nice folk. Hardcore following of the 55. They absolutely right. love the 55. Yeah. yeah. I think, I, well, I'll get ahead of this. Says the 55 was America's first heartbeat. 55 was yeah. America's first heartbeat. Let's go and have a look at that hat. <laughs> oh, I can see the uh, shine yeah, of the phone the sun now. was out good. You can see it. There. Yeah. Oh, there we go, 55 Chevy. America's first heartbeat, that's a nice one. There we go, look at that. Ronnie's 55. On the bumper. Yep, yesterday's Chevrolet Classics. Heartbeat of America. Oh, no, this, it's this fine little details I absolutely love finding. I love my 55. You really do, Ronnie. You really do. And look how well you've done that. So it's on the it's on the back of the plate. And then the mirror picks it up and gives it such a good angle. You love this car. You love oh, yeah. your 55s. You've had five of them. Uh -huh. Five of them. And all five, you and your friends have restored it. Well, earlier, you know, I didn't do a whole lot. But like I say, this is the first one that's, that's not a hot one, you know. Yeah. Just about to enjoy it. Good for you, good for you, and I love that because the Tri 5 series of Chevrolet do have big fan club. They've got a big fan club, and the 55s in particular, there's a, there's a big following of that. I, that's been my experience so far. But it's beautiful, Ronnie. You enjoy this. Thank you very much. Thank you. Movies was Greece. 